This is Element168 and today I have this old gaming laptop to apply the legendary thermal paste aka called Liquid Metal. This laptop is still a capable machine that runs on i7-7700HQ and GTX 1060. However, when it comes to modern titles like Cyberpunk 2077, it requires some big muscle. At the startup, this laptop is already at 66 degrees Celsius. And when using without the cooler, the laptop simply cannot handle the heat and this happens. Can I even play? Oh, it crashes. It crashes. To tell the truth, I already changed the thermal paste once and undervolted CPU for um, reduced the thermal throttling. However, for more demanding uh, tasks such as running a modern AAA title or um, doing some 4K editing or uh, even After Effects, it's fairly impossible at this stage. Hence, it's time to use liquid metal. This seemingly magical stuff is none other than Silver Surfer's blood. I'm just kidding. Ha ha. Liquid metal is a combination of these metals as shown in this video, and he will teach you how to make it for yourself. But why would I? Anyways, because it is actually an alloy, it will conduct electricity as well as the heat. So if I drop it anywhere on the PCB, I'm in really big trouble. And if I use it on aluminium, it will dissolve it and it becomes like this. And gave it a poke with my finger. And to my amazement, I was able to poke a hole straight through it. The can had become soft and almost stretchy. So with that in mind, let's start this. Well, you need some stuff first. Here I got a screw tray, isopropyl alcohol, lens wipe for cleaning, and nail polish, a set of screwdrivers, and a liquid metal. Step one, remove the covers. These days, the laptops are pretty easy to disassemble it. Remove the screws and remove the cover, and voila. The plastic tabs are a little bit annoying for me, but it didn't break so far, so it's all good. There you go. After giving a quick sucking, then I remove the heat sinks and fans. Mine is coffer, which is safe. And Cleans the old thermal paste that I applied. Then here's the important part. I coated all the conductive surface near the CPU and GPU die with the nail polisher. Then I applied the liquid metal on the dies and on the heat sink as little as possible using the included Q-tips. Just how little you ask? This little drop is all I use for this laptop. Alright then, let's run the cyberpunk game. The good news is that the laptop is alive and now showing 53 degrees Celsius on the startup which is 13 degrees Celsius lower. So cyberpunk, let's go. The fan is heating up again. The temperature is 75 degrees. I'm not turning on any external fan or anything. Continue. Howdy, howdy, Night City. Welcome back. My guest tonight... It's going to be a different part of the game because I played a little bit after that. But... Hi there. Welcome to the show. Hello, Ziggy. Thanks for having me. I hope you made it to the studio without any issues. No carjackings or drive-bys along the way. <laughs> okay, here we go. I am now... What's the setting on this at this moment? The low setting preset. I'm getting slight screen tearing, but overall it looks fine. It's running at 10, 1080p. 
Yep, no crashing. That's fire. Yeah, it's not crashing or anything. Um, okay, let's do a little more than just firing. Let's call some cops. What is that? I'm a terrible shooter. Wow. That was bad. If I don't aim it, like it doesn't. Uh, I want to call some cops. There we go. Yes, I do. Where is it? Where are they? Okay, there you go. Come here. Three stars. Four star. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, I'm dead. Temperature 82 degrees Celsius. 83. Max that 83. Well, there you have it. I managed to run a silent operation in Cyberpunk 2077 without crashing my laptop for a thermal, thermal limit. What's more interesting about this seemingly magical silver water is that as the temperature increases, so is the thermal conductivity, thus give you a better cooling. Uh, it is really almost perfect thermal interface. Uh, it's just tricky to use. Anyways, that's been it for today. I hope you find it interesting as well as I do. And see you on the next one. Bye.